Hello, this is Edwin. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to upload to Creative Fabrica. And we're going to upload a printable today. So once you have an account, once you are approved to be a seller on Creative Fabrica, you're going to go to the dashboard. And when you're in this dashboard, you're going to click on Add Graphic. And this is the page to actually upload your printable product. Okay, so first we're going to type in our product name. So I'm going to type in my printable and it's a website planner. Okay, I've input my product name and it's website planner. I'm going to go to categories and there's two categories that I believe that you can use. You can use KDP interiors if you are intending to use it for low content books or you can use the other one and this is the one I choose. You can use the graphic templates print templates and so after this I'm gonna to go to price and for this one I'm just gonna put 299 and I'm just gonna write a short description of this product so I put my description I just put a couple of sentences and I put some features on what's in this printable and then I just put an action call at the last sentence okay so where are product tags and this is a very important section where you actually have to put the tags for this product so when people search for it going to use uh, particular keywords so that people can find your product so to get some tags here I'm just gonna go with common sense first such as website um, domain name okay so I input some product tags just with common sense of what this is about and uh, once you run out of ideas I'm gonna use a couple of websites so I'm gonna first show you the websites and I'm gonna show you the action the first one that I recommend is uber suggest it is free you don't need to pay for it. there's no subscription and all you have to go to is neilpatel.com uh, slash uber suggests and once you come into this page you're going to type in your keyword so i'm going to type in website all right so i've typed in website planner and then now i'm going to go to the keyword idea section on the left all right so once i'm in the section i'm going to put some jot down some notes right here and as you can see, there's website planner, there's website wedding planner, there's website wedding planner, for, a website for wedding planner, website trip planner. Basically, I'm just gonna copy these over. All right, so we're at the product tag section still, and I use some keywords from Uber Suggest. And now that I finished, but I do want to make some notes here for you guys. So back at Uber Suggest, as I was filling out the keywords, there's some keywords that I feel like uh, we I should let you guys know about that you should not put. For example, I never put words like for. There's some other ones here like free because this is not free. So I would not put that either. And there was another one where I believe it was a name. It was like Planner Kate website. So I'm not sure if this was for a name or a brand name. So you just want to be very cautious of those things where it's not uh, relevant to your product. Okay, so we're back here. And as you notice, I still did not max out 30 keywords. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use another keyword software. The first one I wanna show you is called Keywords Everywhere. And this is a free tool that you can use. You can pay for it as well. I don't use a paid version but I do use this in the free version and you wanna use this for Google extension Chrome. The second one I do recommend is a new one that I've been using and I really like this one. It's called Keyword Surfer and you wanna download this to your Google Chrome as well. All right, so I'm in incognito mode right now. That's what I do recommend if you're gonna use the search engine for Google, just in case if they use you know your previous data to persuade you in your search results. So I do have the two uh, extensions that are active right now, as you can see, there's keywords everywhere right here and on the bottom there's keyword surfer and as you can see there's some keywords that are popping up right now and if I go lower there's keywords everywhere here and there's some keywords right here so again I, I just want to really emphasize if it's not Excel or if it's not a PDF file in there it has to be relevant so I would not put those keywords in there so I'm just gonna copy and paste some of these keywords and I'm gonna put it into Creative Fabrica all right I filled up up to the maximum level for 30 tags you want to make sure you count them unfortunately I don't think Creative Fabrica will mark it if you go over it so for example this is I believe exactly 30 so I'll put something else just extra to see if it works and it does work, but again, that'll be 31. So you wanna make sure it's 30. So I'm gonna just exit this out. And that's how you do the product tags. Okay, so after the keyword tagging, you're gonna to go to the product images. And all you're gonna do is just drag and drop your product image file into this uh, section right here. And you gotta make sure that the dimensions are exactly correct right here. Okay, I dragged and dropped my file and it's already uploaded. There's a green check mark right here. 
and you can also exit this out if you want to upload another file. I believe you can also upload multiple image files as well. Okay, in the next section, we're going to go to product files and we're going to put it in a zip format. Okay, so I dragged and dropped my product file in there and it's a zip file. And you're going to see a green check mark if it's uploaded completely. Okay, in the next section, it's some sections that Creative Fabric can give you the option for. I actually do click on all of these, so I'm just going to click on consider as a freebie, consider for a bundle, consider for pick and mix, and consider for discount deals. And I think these just really help you out to really sell your product as well. But if you don't want to do it, then you don't have to do it as well. In the last section, once you're finished, you're going to click on this box right here and you're going to click submit. 